Hello everybody, today we are going to install the Grand.js and we are going to configure it so it's gonna run pretty easy later in next lessons tasks. Because well, Grand is a task manager. But well, first we need to create something what is called a Grand.js which now we can run outside of what web browser because we installed something what is called Node.js, right? Okay, so it is just a simple JavaScript file. So you can use the NetBeans, you don't need to use NetBeans. Whatever you do, you can do it where, wherever you want, right? So I will click new, other, and I will choose the Grunt file JS, next, finish. And well, now I have got here a template and I, it created for me some kind of code, which is very important. This code you need to remember, uh, so well, or you, you can just copy it, you can retype it from here if you do not use NetBeans. The cool thing is that it's gonna create this here in NetBeans and we can use it now, right? So it is just exporting our module and it's gonna run this function for Grand, which is gonna initialize the configuration that we specify here. And this is very important thing. We need to specify the package, which uh, is uh, inside uh, inside the grant file read json and here we have to call it package json and now that's all what is the json why is what the hell is going on right now right <laughs> well uh, that uh, what is json maybe json is just a javascript object notation and it just stores uh, key values, key values in some specific manner that is very easy and understand to read. As you can see, uh, first name John, last name Doe, right? Examples, first name John, last name Doe, and here we have many employees, that is an array. So this is just a simple file for storing things and it's go it is used in JavaScript because it is pretty easy to get things from it because later you just type something like employees uh, well we can go, to go probably here somewhere and see it oh something like that employees bracket zero first name Gilbert right and we can change it so it's pretty easy to understand right this is JSON and I just you know it's not course about JSON so I just pretty fast went through it right this is a JSON and we need a file like that because it is gonna be a configuration file for our grant, okay? So, uh, how to do it? Oh, uh, by mistake, I think I created it here instead of, uh, of here, right? So I have to take it here, remember it. Well, maybe it's good that I made this mistake, so we will not make it. Okay, so we have just created a grant file.js and now we need a package JSON. How to do it? Well, we could go new and then we could create it from here, but it's not a good idea because we have got the program that is gonna do it for us. Okay, but where it is? Well, first we need to know where is our project. So here we are copying this thing here, but I have already opened it here, right? So we are inside and we copy it here. We go to the command and well, I'm already here, but if you were not in that folder, you would just type something like cd, change directory, you will paste the path here and enter. And then you are inside uh, the directory where you have your project. And when you type directory, as you can see, here is a project. Of course, there is a project which has some image and other things like that, but it doesn't matter for you at all, right? Because your project surely looks totally different way. Okay, so how to create now the package JSON. When we are inside the project, we can now type something like npm init. And then we go through the utility through this tool that is gonna walk us to creating a package JSON file. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And now we can type the name of our package. So, so we have to sample test, but remember to not use spaces here, okay? Enter. Now we type the version 1.0. And then description of our module. Enter, 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 enter. Well, I do not care what I type here. Why? Well, right now, as you can see, it generated for us a package JSON with sample key values, key values. 
and all of these things do not matter for me because and well for you for you also because you do not gonna publish this thing probably if you want to learn the node.js and npm and how to publish well this is not the course about it right if you want to just use the grant file you just click enter and enter to have these things because they require you to have them well most of them and well that's how we do it right but there is a one thing that is pretty important as you can see here it says that now you can install inside that package json a package packages and these packages come from here from the grant js site well you can find them here the country one are created by the grant team and well you can now install them the plugins and they are called here at dependencies okay dependencies are plugins inside for grant and well we could type here dependencies and then type the grant version and other things like that but we have to check them out what version I want to install and other things like that and it requires lots of time the easiest way I think is to just type something like npm install and then now the name of the plugin I want to install this time I will gonna I will install grant so I type npm install grant and now because I want to add it into the package JSON automatically I will add here a flag save but the flag save will add it as a dependency and in the specification they suggest you to use the save dev and now as you can see it says that there is no description or repository field no readme data but you know who cares we are not gonna publish it these warnings are just warnings it's not error error or other things like that so we do not care about it as you can see it instead a few things which are here and now when we look here as you can see it has got also dev dependencies and well it works now right we installed first our our first plugin which is grant and well later in next lessons we will install other plugins for example we will install something like auto prefixer which is i think the coolest plugin for from the grant that is the best solution for adding vendor prefixes ever made okay the best ever and uh, well we'll talk about the next lesson and we'll insert it also here to the dev dependencies and then we also need to add something like task to our grant file js because then we can run them from here and this idea is really cool as you can see because you can run them through the menu if you did not have this thing you would have to type here something like grant and then the name of the task the cool thing about this idea is also that well you can type here something like grant and then the version or other plugins and then you can just install all of them at once by clicking here npm install but i think that well you do something like that like i don't know once so you can do it through the command line pretty easy uh, you just find the one that you need and then you just forget about it almost <laughs> okay so that's how you do it the, so we have got now the grant file js we have got the package jensen which is configured and in next lessons we'll learn how to for example use auto prefixer inside grant file and use our first task okay that's all in the lesson thank you very much